here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Dixon and Dixon and all his reindeers blowing on the rain. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Maddie. Welcome to, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first day of Vlogmas. Don't get too excited. Don't get your hopes up. I feel like I'll probably fail at this. I had this idea yesterday. I've thought about it like for the past few years doing Vlogmas. I feel like I just really struggle with consistency and editing and I want to be able to have time to do my homework because my classes are still going while I'm on break. I'm literally home until January like 15th. Like I genuinely am home for so long because it's optional to go back to school or not in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I'm staying home. But I say all of that to say I might be uploading every day, I might be uploading three times a week, four times a week. I still haven't really figured out my schedule with Vlogmas yet, but I thought that this would be super fun for me to do this for you guys. Plus, I want to get back on my like content creation grind, start making more fun videos for you guys. I have a few ones planned that I'm going to film um, with my friends, actually, which is kind of exciting um, because y'all haven't seen them in a while like my friends from home plus my friends from school so yeah I get super excited I love Christmas I've always wanted to do vlogmas so I actually woke up at about 10 today I've been sleeping in super late so I had to like set my alarm so that I would wake up went to bed really late what's new I feel like every time I come home from break that is the situation um, but yes yeah, so then I made breakfast ate that showered self tanned and now I'm about to blow dry my hair that's the thing about my bangs is I have to like style them like they look so dumb right now because I haven't blow dried my hair um, so I'm going to go do that and then I need to clean my room. It honestly looks like my college um, closet threw up on my bedroom. So I'm working on unloading my clothes into my closet because I'm just not going to have them sitting on my floor all break. So I'm going to do that. That will probably make me feel a lot better mental health wise. And then I think I'm going to get ready and go do homework at my favorite coffee shop. I have like a two page paper. Shouldn't be that hard, but I've been procrastinating it and it's due at midnight tonight. I'm going to do that transition where I jump and then my hair is dry. So three, two, one. Okay. I think that worked and now I'm going to go about cleaning my room. I have some laundry I actually have to do so I'm gonna do that um, and then I have a lot of trash I need to throw away. There's just a lot of little things that I need to do in order to make this environment a better environment for me. I feel like messy rooms just kind of like stress me out so I feel like once I do this I'll be in a better headspace. That's what I'm telling myself um, as a reason as to why I haven't done my paper that's due at midnight so yeah, I'm gonna get on that. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. While I was cleaning my room, I was listening to, obviously, The Morning Toast. It's my favorite podcast. It's like pop culture and stuff. It's so good. And they're talking about the Taylor Swift, like, folklore thing on Disney+. Plus. It's basically Taylor Swift, like, talking through all the meanings of her songs on folklore. My sister had a few friends over last night and watched it. And as I'm listening to, like, The Morning Toast girls talk about it, Claudia and Jackie, they're just like oh my gosh, like, it's so good. Like, I found out so many meanings about so many songs that I didn't know before, and I'm like, I need to watch it right now, but I can't. I gotta focus. I'm gonna do my makeup, and what else do I need to do? I literally have been writing in my um, school planner, like, even if it's, like, not schoolwork stuff, like, literally stupid things like, put this on your Christmas list, like, stuff like that. Also, speaking of Christmas lists, I'm gonna do um, a Christmas gift guide video because I did one of those a few years ago, and I didn't really do it, like, very time sensitive. Like, I had it, like, December, like, 20th that it went up, so, like, I'm gonna do it up, like, a good amount before Christmas so y'all are able to, like, utilize it. Maybe I'll even do links in, like, a Google Doc or something something I don't know we'll see it might get a little crazy um but yeah so that's that on that as I'm filming this my camera's being so weird guys like so you know like on those cameras like that you have a little like um what's it called oh my gosh what is it called viewfinder viewfinder my viewfinder isn't working so I'm like filming right now but it looks like my camera's off because it bu the viewfinder is like black so I don't know what happened to my camera I literally like was filming on it before I showered and then I came back and I started filming again and it just like wouldn't show my face in the viewfinder so I'm literally filming this right now having no clue what I look like right now so maybe that will help me stop over analyzing myself and my appearance <laughs> maybe it's a good thing or maybe I need to get it fixed or get a new camera I don't really know I'm gonna go do my makeup and I'll see you guys in a second okay I just got ready this is literally my version of ready I have on a sweatshirt and sweatpants and 
I am about, I have literally the hiccups right now. I'm about to go downstairs and I am going to do the dishes and then I'm going to head out and go to homework. Do you hear my cat meowing? She's in heat right now. That's so sad. Hey, Annie. She's so cute. Boys for boys and girls again. Hear those sleigh bells jingle jangle. Oh, what a beautiful sight. So jump in bed and cover your head. My Santa Claus comes to life. Um, we just watched certifiably the worst movie ever. It was a fan fiction that was written about Harry Styles and then it was made into a movie obviously without Harry Styles. But then there's After We Collided, which is the second one. And it's really, like it's good, like it's like entertaining, but it's so cheesy and it's just a crazy ride. <laughs> it was just very overwhelming, but we just watched that and laughed the whole time because it was kind of fun to make fun of. And Allie made me fajitas earlier. <laughs> Chef G <laughs> and now I'm gonna go home <laughs> and go to bed <laughs> but that was the adventures of tonight even though you didn't get to see the last time I vlogged was at my house so I hope you're enjoying okay guys I just got home from Allie's house I think I'm going to maybe watch the Taylor Swift um thing because I've literally been thinking about it all day ever since I talked to you guys about it this morning um, from my podcast. I think I actually might go downstairs and make myself some tea. Um, my sister loves tea, so we have a bunch of green tea and stuff downstairs. I might put some honey in it just to try to relax. Um, my sleep schedule, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video, but my sleep schedule is so messed up. So I'm trying to go to bed earlier and wake up earlier, especially if I'm going to try to be productive with schoolwork and stuff. I feel like I'm just such a morning person. Person, so it helps me to get up early and go to bed oh my gosh Phoebe's tail and, and get up um, relatively early so I think I might set my alarm for like 9 30 tomorrow which probably doesn't sound early to you guys but it's early to me I told Allie when I was over at her house that I woke up I set my alarm for 10 today she was like Maddie that's literally sleeping in for me like I just like sleep in so late like I I'm just blessed with that ability so yeah I think I'm going to go make some tea I need to do my Jesus time that's something that I need to do and then maybe um watch this Taylor Swift um I don't even know if I would call it a documentary because it's just her like singing her songs and explaining them I don't know, but I'm going to watch that after I read my Bible and do my Jesus time. So I haven't really filmed that much today, which I'm just now realizing because I really did not film me at the coffee shop because I was one, writing my paper, and then I drove to Allie's and we just had dinner and hung out. So yeah, going to go make some tea. Question. Should I do throat coat? Or should I do green tea? Like, this is actually so good. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the throat coat because I like throat coat, even though it's technically for when you have a sore throat. Um, I'm talking quietly because my whole family's asleep. Um, but yeah, this is usually for when you have a sore throat. I feel like I use this during like plays in like when I was in school and I did like theater and stuff and like to help your voice. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I am currently on Colossians 3, which is about putting on your new self and all of that goodness. And so I am going to journal. I usually journal while I read my Bible. I kind of write it out as like a prayer to the Lord. As you can see, I literally have like all this 
like prayer. I don't know. I feel like that really helps me. I also do like sermon notes and stuff in here as well. Um, but it really helps me um, just kind of like pray to him and like remember my old prayers. I like looking through these. They definitely help me. Um, I don't know, like keep track of my walk with him and keep myself accountable. Oh, hi, honey. So yes, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to finish out Colossians. Colossians is a really small book. And then I will go on to 1 Thessalonians. I've never read 1 Thessalonians, but I literally was just learning about this in my New Testament class. So that will be really good. I'm really excited to start that tomorrow after I finish Colossians. So yeah, that is kind of how I read my Bible. I've talked about it in a lot of my videos, but I'm going to do a little bit of that tonight. I don't usually do it at the same time every day. I feel like I've been doing it later at night in these past few days just because I've been waking up so late and then my schedule is off um but I'm gonna try to wake up tomorrow and do it in the morning um and then obviously edit this video for this video to go up tomorrow as the first day of vlogmas so yeah I'm going to do my Jesus time right now I'm gonna drink my tea okay I'm back um and I just kind of want to share with you guys the verses that I read in hopes that it inspires you encourages you um reminds you of the Lord's power in your life so as I said I'm on Colossians 3 which is the part about putting on your new self the verse that really stood out to me was um Colossians 3 4 verse 4 um, I'm just going to read up until verse 4 so you guys have a little bit of context. It says, If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. And then this is verse 4. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also be, then you will also appear with him in glory. So, I honestly think what really stuck out to me about that part and i've read this like portion of the bible before like multiple multiple times it's like a very famous portion of the bible is like putting on your new self and i feel like a lot of times people relate to that to like putting aside your old ways and putting aside your shame and guilt of the world and like instead putting on like who christ has made you to be but i think this part really stuck out to me when it said when christ who is your life appears because how many times do i live my life um remembering that like christ is my life like he shouldn't just be a portion of my life he should be my whole life and I feel like there's just like so much newness which like goes into putting on your new self obviously in um reminding yourself that like Christ is your life like he is everything like you should wake up every single day and be like wow thank you lord for this day I'm gonna do whatever I can to honor you and do whatever I can like to bring you praise in whatever way that may look like according to the gifts and talents you've given me specifically because you've gifted us all in beautiful and amazing ways and I don't know that just really stuck out to me I journaled a little bit about it I actually journaled a lot tonight um so I wrote down like seek the things that are above um my residency is not here because obviously seeking the things that are above are not the things that are on earth. Um, and then I said, I wrote, when Christ who is your life appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Christ be my whole life. Um, and then I also just kind of wrote out some like practical steps and like things that I can start implementing to make Christ my whole life. And I think for me, that means having a few of these traits, um, especially in reading the word, dedication, consistency, honesty, transparency, devotion, schedule, and humility. Those are just some things that I wrote down that I feel like I need to better myself in order to make him my whole life, especially with being consistent in the word. That's a big theme that I need to be better in. I feel like I'm always talking about that, but it's just always a struggle, and I want to be real about my struggles with you guys. Um, and then I said, Lord, remind me of your newness that continues to wash over me. And then I also wrote some, like, steps to be better, which is, like, for me specifically, it means, like, setting aside a scheduled time to... Um, spend time with the Lord because I even just said at the beginning of this clip like oh my gosh like I don't sometimes it really depends on the day like whenever I um spend time with Jesus but I honestly feel like it really helps me to have a specific time that I spend with him so I'm going to set my alarm tomorrow so that I'm able to do that because that really does help me and I feel like I benefit a lot from spending like specific time with him because otherwise I'll keep pushing it off like I did tonight until like 11 30 at night um so yeah those are just what I learned from Colossians 3 my cat is literally getting into my 
my trash right now as you can see I'm actually going to end the video here because all that I have to do is wash my face drink my tea and watch the Taylor Swift movie so in the next video I will obviously fill you guys in on what I thought about it um, what all of my thoughts are maybe I'll even write notes so that I'm able to share it with you guys I don't know how many of you guys like Taylor Swift but she's literally my favorite I started crying in the car today because I was like Taylor Swift is older than me she's gonna die before me like she's not immortal so there's that um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching vlogmas day one hope this wasn't super boring hope it was kind of entertaining hope you were able to learn something maybe maybe the lord spoke through me in any way that's my prayer with all of my videos that i'm able to minister in any way that i can so turn my post notifications on so you can be notified whenever i post a new video like and subscribe do all that fun jazz and i will see you guys for vlogmas day two again not really sure what the format of my vlogmas is but i love you guys bye